Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Uh, today's video is going to be episode four, I think, of my sample Saturday, which is kind of like a spin-off of my of the 365 days of samples. Hashtag 365 days of samples, but I just do it on Saturdays because that's what works for me. I this is a very low-key <laughs> episode. Uh, I just came back into town. My plane landed like at midnight or close to midnight. So I am still wearing my pajamas and I have no makeup on. I just put a little bit on mascara so it wouldn't look so like completely dead. But it's Saturday and I, wanna, I wanted to make sure to get this up uh, today so we can stay on track. I do these videos every two weeks just because I don't have that many samples to go through. Um, so yes, anyway, last time I had picked out some samples and I have and I was able to finish 11 so I'm gonna go through the ones that I was able to finish the first two that I'm gonna talk about are some body butter type lotions the first one is this from egg mellow this is their body butter and this is really good this is very it's very moisturizing very it smells like it smells like butter. It really does smell like butter. It's very moisturizing. I really, really enjoyed it. When I was putting it on, I was literally like, oh my God, this feels so good on my body. And I was like, add it to my favorites list on Sephora so I can buy it when the VIB sale comes along. Then the next day, I went and I used this sample from L'Occitane. This is the Amand uh, Milk Concentrate. And oh my goodness, this knocked this one out of the park. This smells so good. Very moisturizing as well. So guess what I did? I added it to my loves list <laughs> as well. I was thinking about repurchasing it. Oh, well, purchasing it uh, during the VIB sale. But both of these are very expensive and it's already getting kind of warm here. So I, th I think what I'm going to do is keep them in, in the cart like that, but then wait until the... VIB in November when it starts getting cold so I can use them. It's pointless for me to buy them now and then stash them away for like the next seven months. You know what I mean? Um, or 10 months, whatever. Um, so it doesn't make any sense, but I will be purchasing these for sure, for sure, for sure when the VIB sale comes along. If you guys can get your hands on samples of these, please do yourselves a favor and get them. And then finally from like, I think it was my first episode, that I pulled out the Beauty Blender Cleanser. Um, I really did enjoy this one, but it's kind of expensive for the size that it is. There wasn't a lot of um, product in here, so I used it all for just the Beauty Blender, so I don't know how it would do with brushes, but I really enjoyed it, and maybe if I was feeling like splurgy one day, I would buy, the, but buy it, but nothing that I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I need to have right this minute. Then I had this like little double pack of the Sephora Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. These were very, very small. They were like, did I save it? No, I didn't save any. Um, but it was maybe like this long and like this wide. And you could really just do one. I could only do one eye with each. So this was one use, one for each eye. They're okay, but I wouldn't purchase them on my own. Then I have this uh, Living Proof Prime Style Extender from Living Proof. And I really did enjoy this one. I used this one. There was a lot of, this was a very generous sample. I used this about four times. And, and I have pretty like longish hair. So um, I really enjoyed it. I have, I, have, I have like maybe like two or, oh. I have like two or three of the actual like deluxe size samples, the little tubes. So I will continue to purchase, um, to use those. I don't know if I would purchase it, but I, I will gladly use the little deluxe examples that I have. Then I have a um, moisturizer from Clinique. This is the Dramatically Different. This is the cream, which is designed for dry, for drier skins. So this is very, very moisturizing. Um, I, I usually have combination to oily skin and, but I don't mind using like really moisturizing lotions because I can use them at night and then my skin soaks them up real nice and in the morning I wake up like really moisturized and everything. Then I have a serum. This is the Evening Facial Repair Serum from MD Solar Sciences. 
this was um when I think of serum I, I think like like product in its liquid form this was kind of like a lotion like um if you guys have used the Makeup Forever primer, the one in the white tube, the moisturized, the hydrating one, that's the kind of consistency that this had. Um, it worked okay. I didn't see any magical results from this. So I don't really, I don't think I really have an opinion about this one. So that one's that. Then I have two foundations. One is the NARS, ah, I cut off the top part here and I don't know what it says. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, I think that's what it is. And this was in the color Light 4. This was very yellow for me. I had to mix it with another foundation that was a little bit lighter. Um, and it was very, very, like, watery, very liquidy. Um, I didn't like it very much, so I don't think I would purchase that in the future. One that I did really enjoy is from Hourglass. This is the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation in the light beige color and this was a perfect match for me um i would consider buying this one in the future not immediately though because i am trying to work down on the my foundations and bb creams that i have right now but this for sure um i will be buying this in the future really really enjoyed it and i liked it that it was a liquid powder um because i didn't need to set my face afterwards so very very nice and the last two that i have here are um, from Origins, or two masks, sorry. One is from Origins. This is the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. It came with a set of two and a little spritzer, another little, like a vial, like a perfume vial here with this little spritzer that you're supposed to use before you use the mask. Um, I've used this mask before. It's okay. It's not my favorite mask. I wouldn't repurchase or purchase, I, was, I should say. And the other one was this mask from Sephora. This is the Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. And I really did enjoy this one. This one I would consider purchasing in the future. Um, I have a, a comparison video coming up from this mask, comparing this mask to the one from Clarence. So stay tuned for that. And then for the samples that I'm currently working from the last time are these, um, well, the other half of that Clarence packet. This one is the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. This is my favorite sleeping mask of all time. Um, a little bit goes a long way and I still have some here. I only use it maybe about once a week. Um, and there's a lot of, there's quite a bit of product here. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way so I don't need to use a lot when I use it. So maybe I have a couple of weeks left on this one. And then for the products that I haven't started using yet, no surprise, Million Dollar Tan Cabana Face, Cabana Tan for Face. I'm saving this for later in the summer when I actually need to tan. And then I have this um, Ren Flash Hydro Boost Instant Plumbing Emulsion. This is kind of like a serum, but I haven't used it because um, like you have to wash your face, put this on, and then wet your face to create like a little like emulsion from this product with the water. Um, I just, uh, I feel like, I feel like it's too much work. And then two other masks, one from Fresh. This is the Instant Black, no, the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. I haven't used this one. And then the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Purifying Mask with Red Clay. I haven't used this one before um, or yet, but I have used the cleanser the one with the red clay and I really do enjoy that one so I'm hoping that I can enjoy this one as well so those are the four that I'm working on and then five with this one that's in progress and then like I was since I was out of town like I was telling you guys I just came in last night um, I took some samples with me so I could use because I didn't want to take like like travel size thing so I went through my little bag of samples and I actually pulled out three extra samples so I pulled out another um, Egg Mellow Body Butter. Um, so this is the, the, what do you call it? The lotion that I used. So I have that one. And then I have two samples from Philosophy here. One is the Purity. This is a cleanser. Uh, because this takes off makeup as well. So I didn't have to take like a, like a makeup remover and everything. I could just wash my face with this one. I got a few uses out of this sample. So I used that one up. I, oh. I have used the full size of this and I have 
if you guys uh, saw my empties video, you guys saw that I went, I went through a bottle of this and I have one in my uh, back stock, so I will always use that. And then this other um, sample from Philosophy, this is the Renewed Hope in a Jar. This is a refreshing and refining moisturizer and I really did enjoy this one. I have used the Hope in a Jar, but I didn't think it was that great. But this Renewed one, I really enjoyed the scent and I really did feel my skin... Um, it didn't feel like super moisturized. I don't know. I My skin felt a little bit dry when I was in Dallas. So I can't... Um, like, I was in a different like weather so I don't want to judge it just yet because it, it wasn't in my like normal regular routine so um, it, it felt moisturized but not as much as I like it but because I was out of town I don't want to judge it on that so my skin usually because of you know the, the airplane and the uh, recycled air from the planes my skin always feels a little bit dry that's why when I come back I have to do like a lot of masks um, but I really enjoyed the scent of this and based on just that I would buy this. <laughs> I really did enjoy this one. So so those are three little extra samples that I went through. Um, so now I'm just going to pick out another 10 and we'll see what I'll be working with for the next two weeks. So I'm going to pull out this one first. Number one is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, little like little sampler I should say. Uh, you have three shades right here, I think. Oh. I don't know. I think they're all not going to be... I think this one's too yellow for me. Maybe this one. Maybe, but I think these two are too dark. Maybe I'll be able to mix this one with these two and make like a perfect match for me. And maybe I can use this as like a contour bronzer type thing. So, this is one. And then the next one is this one what there's nothing in here oh okay i see <laughs> this little packet right here i think it was like stuck here because see it got stuck and this is and that's where it is skin glowing balm makeup with pink peony which is what it says here so it just it just got stuck okay so there we go this was in the color in the color 200 Dune, which is this one right here. So I think it will be a match. I think we'll see. So that is that. Number three, this Paracon MD Refirm Surface Recovery Treatment. So skincare. There you go. And then the next one will be this one. Oh, I picked out two. Let me put them back. Okay, this is the It Confidence in a Cream. This is, uh, what is this? Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream Anti-Aging Armor to regener Regenerative Concentrate. Um, I think this is like a day cream. Yeah, I'll, I'll read more, more on it and we'll see what it is. So, one, two, three, four. The next one is this one. Oh, okay. The Shiseido Ultimate Eye Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. I have used this before and I really do enjoy it. So glad to have that one. The number... Oh, I'm going to pick another one because I just pulled this one out. So I don't want to have two of the same. So I'm going to give a chance for something else. Aha. Uh -huh. The Supercharged Minerals Re Supercharged Skin from Ahava. This is... What is this? Dead Sea Osmotor Concentrate. It says to apply before moisturizer, so I'm thinking this is kind of like a serum. So we'll see, we'll see how much. I don't know how much is in here. So it seems like a rather la large um, package, but it doesn't feel like there's much in here. So we'll see how that one works. And then. <laughs> this Urban Decay One Stefan uh, Stefani Lipstick Palette Sampler thing. 
you get Rocksteady, 714, Ex-Girlfriend, and Firebird. And I say urn uh, because one of my Panda palettes is a lip palette. So this is gonna... I was so happy to be finished with all my lip products from the other project pen so I could just focus on that one palette. And now I have this one. We'll see how long it takes me to go through this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three more. This is the Bliss Micro Magic Spa Powered Microdermabrasion Treatment. A little bit of skincare. That's good. A little bit of skincare. So that's good. I'm gonna probably use this soon because I'm gonna be doing a lot of like exfoliating and masking today and tomorrow. Uh, this one is the Dior Backstage. Um, what is oh, okay? It's just a little sample of the lip maximizer. You, it comes with the like the lip gloss form with a little brush here, and the one that comes in the lipstick form. So I've always been curious to about these, so I'm glad I get to try them. So yay! And I think one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, yes, one more. This one. Okay, this is the Lancer, the Method Polish. What does this do? It like exfoliates your skin. So there, it feels like there's quite a bit of product in here. So I don't know, we'll see how this one works. So there you go, guys. These are the 10 samples that we'll be using for the next two weeks. And I will see you guys in about two weeks to see how these babies worked for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.